What's going on? You're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. Let's talk about Dan Sartin and his new album, Arise, Dan Sartin, Arise. That was released on November 26th. This is his 11th studio album and follows 2016 Century Plaza. This is a sad story. Dan tragically passed away at the beginning of the year in March. So this is his final album. It's his first posthumous release. There's a lot going on here. Um, and I don't know if he was the type of guy that had recordings set up to be released after his death. So this could be the last that we hear from him. He was working on this record at the time of his passing. And so with the blessing of his family, they allowed this to be released. It's, you know, thankful for all of us. It's cool to have one more record from him. This is a great project. All 13 of these songs are amazing. And all the sales from this album are going to a fund to benefit his young daughter. He was only 39. So, I mean, she's a child still. It's, it's really just very unfortunate, this whole entire incident. And so we're going to vinyl please this thing right off the bat, obviously going to a good cause, but this record is amazing too. And if you're not familiar with Dan, just one of those artists that, like I love his ability to take this old feel, this this great classic sound in music. It's kind of like what Silk Sonic was doing with Motown, but he's working with rockabilly, surf rock, a little bit of punk rock, garage rock is driving this thing though. I love the sound, I love the lo-fi element there. Uh, but again, you know, making these songs sound fresh and sound contemporary, his voice is excellent. It's just so perfect with the type of music that he's making. And lyrically, can be very introspective, very insightful, but he's also very funny. There's some songs on this record that, you know, they <laughs> he starts singing and you just can't help but chuckle, uh, mostly just because of the topic of the song. But he reminds me a lot of the King Con and Barbecue show for that reason. Just funny, funny moments, but also very serious. There's a, a good balance of that on this record. And, and I like that yin and yang on this thing. It opens up with You Can't Go Home No More. Excellent song. Excellent way to open up this record. It's probably going to go down as one of the signature songs in his catalog. But it's got this great galloping percussion. The, the riff is amazing. I absolutely love it. And I'm really digging the melody as well. Leads into People Throwing Stones and Glass Houses, which has this sinister surf rock vibe that I dig so much. Probably my favorite song. Also, I Don't Care, your third song. Ooh la la, just this great combination of doo-wop and punk. Again, what makes Dan so amazing? He's taking all these great old school things and, and combining them and, and just doing what he pleases with them. And this song is a perfect example. I really dig that track a lot. Rooster in the Hen House is your four track. Uh, just another great rockabilly track. And some of the goofy lyrics coming into play there, that's where I started to, to think of the King Kong and Barbecue show. Your fifth song, I Heard Laughing. Up tempo ballad, uh, it's just guitars. I really like the the feel of this song. Really is a, a nice change of pace in the record. Leads into uh, Kisses in the Morning, just straight up ballad. Nice slow change in the record, which drifts into True Love. Just great punk sounding track, reminded me a lot of the Ramones. I like the change in pace in the record. Dipped in, slowed it down, and then we picked it back up. True Love leads into the eighth track of My Best Fit which is, uh, again, doo-wop, rockabilly. I really like the way that he's just messing with all of these things and, and making them sound so fresh. Fires and Floods, uh, great song. I, I love the stop-and-go riff in this track. Another one of my favorites. I really found this song pretty impressive. And then we get some of this fun stuff at the end, your 10th, 11th, and 12th tracks. 10th song is called Dumb Friends. This song is about... Uh, and, and this song is interesting too because it sounds more contemporary than any of the other ones minus the the, the rockabilly and, and the garage sounding guitars but the, the lyrics on this song are about we've all been here before you ever dated that person that just had the worst friends in the world that's what this track is about I absolutely love that I thought that was really funny I recently dated someone in the last couple of years that I experienced that with so just got a good chuckle out of that your song 11 is called Foreman Grill I, I don't even need to explain what that song is about. It is about this man's love for a foreman grill. I hope at the pearly gates, when Dan was greeted, he was greeted A, with a guitar first, and then with the foreman grill, because based on this song, it sounds like he really loved the foreman grill. And, uh, you know, he's going he's gonna to go through all the, good, all the good things about it in that track. I just, I, I'm getting such a kick out of it. I, the title of the album in general, it's just like, I would really like to have met this guy. He seems like he had a great sense of humor, um, you know, this is uh, just a really heavy incident. This whole thing is very tragic and uh, the type of guy still to, you know, uh, still find some, some light in the darkness. And I dig that about Dan. Personal Injury Law is your 12th track. That is, 
<laughs> it sounds like Alabama song by The Doors. And again, it's about a personal injury lawyer. And uh, your final song, getting a, a little more serious, uh, Daddy's Coming Home. And uh, Dan, uh, I, I, I hope you have gone home and that uh, you're resting peacefully. And it's, it's terrible that, that you're gone, especially at such a young age. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's still wonderful to have this last bit of music from you. Uh, a remarkable career from a, a very just charming man. Just a, a wonderful cult figure. And uh, I wish I'd had a chance to see the man live. If you did, if you have any experiences, please share those in the comments. Uh, That's what this channel is about, is sharing cool stories about music. And again, Dan's not a guy that I really knew too much about and uh, you know, really just became familiar with him tragically because of his passing at the beginning of the year and started digging into his catalog more. So I'm going to give this thing a vinyl, please. I hope you enjoy it. Go buy this record and support his daughter. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it, do all the things to help me grow this project. Stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews. We'll see you next time on The Beat Sessions.